I am no messenger. But I will give you Thank you. I've seen the lineup and I'm impressed. I uh, obviously love Leonard Skinner, but my morning jacket who are playing now, I discovered that band through Seth MacFarlane's series, you know, The American Dad. And that episode is uh, quite beautiful, so I've been really excited about seeing these guys. Oh yeah, there'll be new songs, it'll be like, um, I haven't seen the set, but I know that we're doing new songs. <laughs> I just got, I just finished my holiday, so I just came here straight from holiday. New album comes out in August, yeah, there's 11 new songs on there. Um, we'll be playing a couple, well, a few songs from it tonight, but um, it's, uh, so, sonically it's quite similar to the first record, um, it's quite a stripped back kind of rock record and with occasional big luxurious bits on it, um, very proud of the songs, two of my favourite songs ever are on there, you know and then it's just a really good album, really happy with it. Uh, yeah I think that's, uh, that's the first song on the album so um, it sets the tone, there's a few other songs that are like that. Um, nothing else is swingy like that, you know, dum 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 dum. It's more everything straight and hard, but it's but it sounds like that, you know. Will be called uh, hot cake. Hot cakes. Hot cakes. Uh, do you prefer sex or cakes? Do I prefer? Sex? <laughs> That's a good question. It really depends on the chef. Um, <laughs> yes, tough question to answer. <laughs> it's um, street spirit fade out. The Radiohead song. We're doing that. Um, it's a song that we've been playing live for about 10 years um, but we never did a proper recording of it. We, we did it for a radio session a long time ago and um, we just decided to do it for real, you know. <laughs> On paper it looks good. I mean, we think we've been... We've had a really fantastic year because uh, at the beginning of the year we had the Super Bowl advert thing which um, well, they used one of our songs for a Samsung commercial um, it, on the Super Bowl which is 90 seconds long and uh, I appeared in the advert so it, it was a really for America it was a really big bit of exposure and um, so when we did a tour just after that everything sold out um, Australia has always been really good to us you know they they liked the second album more than the first album um, and um, Europe is our home continent so you know it's nice to be doing the festivals this summer and it's just been a really great year yeah it just gets better and better doesn't it I mean it's kind of that um, I think there's something quite similar in what between what we do and what she does you know um, when you look at her show it's really just a rock show with a lot of choreography and a lot of um, pyro and a lot of production and great songs um, so we're gonna We've got a really great chance to go and learn, learn how she she does it, you know, because she's a phenomenon. She's a really, really talented, really beautiful, and a really intelligent and uh, a special person, you know. So it's going to be great to experience that. Um, I think if you're paying good money for a ticket and you're getting that kind of experience, then that can only be a good thing. I mean, it, she um, gives her fans value for money. And uh, you have to respect that. I mean, I think that's a, a wonderful thing. And not everybody does it. You know, we try and do it. She does it, and there's a few others. But um, in this business, it's hard to make money from selling records. It's hard to make money from, you know, all the traditional, old-fashioned ways of getting cash in the in the music trade have gone. And so it's all about live. So for her to have the courage to put on a show that costs that much money is um, remarkable, really. So. We're very proud to be part of that, you know. I think if uh, if there is humour in the songs, then it's just because of our personalities, really, you know. Um, always a bit wary of that because I don't want it to be. I don't want us to be a joke band. We're not a joke band, you know. <coughs> it's just really important that we have a good time. Part of that is part of that involves laughter. Yeah. I saw you were lost in an airport. What happened? Long story. <laughs> No, the, the thing, I was on holiday in France for a week and um, but it was weird because I was in the south of France and I had to, to get to Bilbao, I had to go via Paris and then so the plane to Paris was delayed um, and I missed the connecting flight and I was stuck in Paris to Charles de Gaulle airport for six hours so that's why I was doing all that Facebook stuff, I was just bored and angry Did you buy biscuits? <laughs> I bought some biscuits for my, for my dear grandmother, yep 
I had a six hour layover so I, so I bought some biscuits for my grandmother and spent five hours and 59 minutes sitting on a plastic chair. Uh, airports can be a little bit frustrating if it's kind of delayed and stuff but um, and it was especially bad because I was on my own, you know, the rest of the band were here yesterday but because I was on holiday I travelled alone. Um, when you've got your band around you and your crew and all your friends then it's a great, a great time, you know, even if a plane's delayed it doesn't, it doesn't matter, it's just fun, you know. But I was just stressed out because I wanted to be here and I wanted to be here ready to rock, you know. Hi, my name's Justin from The Darkness and uh, you're watching BFM.